Uh, so once upon a stormy night, there was a black cloud of doom. Once upon a stormy night, there was a black cloud of doom coming uh, straight towards us. And, and we got we're our facing, cockpit tent on. Yeah, exactly. We got all of our cockpit tent covers on. That makes sense. Cockpit tent panels on. And we are facing, there's one half of the anchorage that is facing in one direction, and the rest of the anchorage to our left, or to our port side, is facing in the other direction. All the boats are facing in completely opposite directions. And I think that we're about to get absolutely shat on. We've just finished getting shat on. <laughs> that was fun. We just came out here to enjoy the uh, massive rainstorm. And I think that we're about to get another massive rain cloud. Well, in this one past week, so that dinghy out the dinghy's flooded and it's all over the place. Yeah, we've just drained the dinghy and now it's flooded again. So Nick has volunteered to go out. <laughs> <laughs> Things volunteered to go out and empty it. While Teresa does the washing up and make cooks dinner. Oh yeah, I've it. already done the washing up today. In fact, I don't think there's. Oh yeah, there is washing. Hey, I made lunch. I'm doing dinner. Yeah, I know, but the washing up is from lunch. What about the, what about the dinghy of doom? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's currently actually no rain, so maybe we're wrong about the rain cloud of doom. I really like this anchorage. I think that it's really peaceful, especially compared to St. Martin, where it was like planes landing all the time, boats, dinghies zipping past, and boats always motoring around. Those super yachts always anchoring and putting down their anchors, and there was just constant noise, wasn't there? Yeah. And you don't realise until you come to somewhere like this where it's just total silence. I felt bad putting an anchor out the other day because I was like spoiling the serenity for the people anchored here. Is it time for my hamburger? It's time for my hamburger, the walking dead and some chocolate in that order. So nothing's really changed is it? Well nothing ever changes. We do the same thing every single night. <laughs> I can hear the wild goats. Well that's your stomach rumbling. Wild goats, right? No, that, that's goat sounds. They're goats, for sure. So we had a bit of a rolly night. Um, the wind swung around to the northwest last night, which is really unusual and uh, that's pretty much the one wind angle that we're not protected from in this anchorage so the swell was coming through the channel uh, there's a very narrow gap in the reef and that's exactly where the swell was coming through and that's coming straight towards us so it's a little bit rolly last night there was also quite a lot of rain which woke us up so we had a bit of an uncomfortable night nick was up quite a few times in the night um just checking on the boat because we were swinging around. Yeah, it looks like it's about to start raining very soon. It looks like it's going to be absolutely torrential. The wind's picked up and uh, there's a big black cloud of doom right in front of the boat. It's begun. Ah, uh, this reminds me of the old days beating down the channel. <laughs> Now is a packet of hobnobs and uh... a nice cup of tea. Nice cup of tea, packet of hobnobs and some sort of. Actually, we could probably, um, well, we could definitely do the tea part. Well, we've got, well, we have enough tea bags to last us a year, which is good. That's just what you want to be as a catamaran, isn't it? Kind of fish. Yeah. Ponies out for the decade. Are they dragging? I think they've dragged. Where's their, um, can you see the yellow anchor boy? I've got to make sure we're not dragging. I don't think we are. Well, this little line, I keep it on, it's just a, it's, just, it's not a dedicated anchor um, alarm. Because okay. they're unreliable. But what it does show, it shows our track. So yeah. when we're at anchor, it just updates the GPS every 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah. So that arc is how the boat's just swinging around the anchor. Yeah. But it's been on, I turned it on at three o'clock this morning. Yeah. So we haven't moved. But um, 
Yeah, it's, you know, it's gusting almost 30 knots and it's exposed. There's the problem. There's no problem with it gusting 30 knots. The anchor can take it, but it's coming straight, it's being funneled straight down between those two hills mm. and there's no, there's no respite from it. So. No, that's the Atlantic Ocean right in front of us. Come on, babe, reel it in. I can't, I've got the line jam. It's a fucking bit, it's got a lot of guts, this fish. I'm not sure how much line it took before we heard it. Probably quite a lot if you're still reeling it in. Well, I'm not even sure that the meat is reeling in. You hold this right, hold the line. Okay, I've got the floats down, I've got to move the float down. Trying to torch on this line, babe. It's going to take a line. It's trying no. to hide your vein rudder. Get in. <laughs> after it. Get in soon. Swim that fish down. I'll pass the sauce, might have to wait till tomorrow. Don't swim around that line again. Oh, there's another. There's a shark after it. Oh my god. Look, there's two sharks. Two sharks chasing it. Get out of my way, my fish. That fish looks knackered. It is, I Get it before the sharks take it. Oh my god, the sharks are evil. Their eyes are glowing. A big fish like that wanted your tiny piece of ham that you stuck on that hook. I told you, ham is the ultimate food. You got it? Yeah. Alright, bring it inboard. We'll just drop it down there where the weight's at. I hope everyone on YouTube isn't watching this going, oh my god, please don't eat that fish, it's poisonous. The tail fin is a distinctive yellow. That, it is this, I think, babe. Yeah. All side jack are a high risk of cigarette poisoning. Oh, well, we're not fucking eating it then, are we? Oh. There's no reason you never see them on the menus. Yep, okay, well, there you go. Oh, I'm sad. Yeah, maybe that's bad karma, isn't it? Why is it bad karma? We killed a fish. We didn't need to. Yeah, well. Oh, it's still twitching. Is it? Yeah. Maybe it might survive. Yeah, you're right, it is. Quick, put it back in. We should have been quicker with the book to know what species of fish we can eat. But, you know, we threw it back in. Um, I think it was still alive. It was wriggling it was a little right. bit. Well, I think from now on we should probably be very careful about what we fish, where we fish. Because yes. if you troll in deep water, then you can... The, the fish you catch won't have ciguatera. The problem is that we don't fish that often. We know what a Dorado looks like. Oh, I don't even know what a Wahoo looks like. <laughs> what does a Wahoo look like? I don't know. Open the book, have a look. Well, that's what we need to do. That's my revision for the evening. Mm. So anyway. <laughs> Back to plan A. Back to plan A, spaghetti. Anyway. Without wishing to use too many uh, animal metaphors. We broke our fish duck. See? Does that mean that we caught our first fish of the season? Yeah, we, broke, we caught our first fish of the season and had to throw it back. But it was nuts seeing that shark chasing the fish. There were two of them. There were two sharks. But the other thing that makes me very happy, fish like ham. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have the nothing when that's all. Yeah. Right, so best breakfast is a Johnny cake with saltfish? Yes, a tuna fish. Tuna fish Johnny cake. Come and cheese, a nice. cheese, egg. So lunch in the BBIs. We are bowled over with how friendly everyone is. When we first kind of made dinghy fall on um, one of the resorts, everyone was like super friendly and was like, uh, they are Disney friendly, which basically means you're being paid to smile. <coughs> Everyone is like really nice <laughs> and it's it's really off -putting. freaking us out. Nothing makes you smile like a warm sandwich. Looks nice, it feels nice. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, that's a good sandwich. The Jekyll and Hyde effect. When she said $5, I was like, how much? This is well worth $5. Good value. Yes. I am okay. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here in Virgin Border for... Uh, what day is it today? I've lost track. It's Wednesday. My, my tablet's told me it's Wednesday. So we got here on Saturday, so we've been here for five days. And um, yeah, it's nice. It's, uh, I think I've got mixed feelings about the BBI so far. Because on the one hand, it's very expensive. Like, really expensive. Like, here in this place, we had happy hour beers and they were $5 each, which coming from Lagoonies where it was $1 was a bit of a shock to the system. I think that this place is, I mean, if we find a local shop, like we were, they were did $56, 56 US for a case of carrot in the shop there, yeah. and 32 over there. Yeah, so it depends on where you go. You and you've just got to walk yeah. 100 meters out of these resorts, yeah. and everything goes back to kind of what we would expect. Yeah, not cheap, but still like normal Caribbean prices. Yeah. Yeah. But St. Martin was less expensive than the average, so I feel yep. like coming from St. Martin to here, it's a bit of a shock to the system, but you know, it's okay. Like we had sandwiches before, they were $5 each, which is like not exactly a bargain, but you got a big sandwich for that and you'd pay about that in the UK or Australia or wherever. Um, and you know, it's very beautiful. We're, we've just been in Sound so far and it's really, it's lovely, it's really nice. You know, there's lots of little nooks and crannies to explore, so we're happy, um, you know, everything is great. Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got a really good feeling about the next month in the BBIs. I just, I'm worried because I don't think it's going to be long enough and I feel like there's so much to see here we're not going to have the time to see everything. Good morning, we're on the move again. We're heading off to the baths today, or at least that's the plan. Um, so we're just heading out of the anchorage, uh, it's called Drake's Anchorage in Virgin, uh, sorry, Border Sound. Um, and we're going to go to the baths and then I have no idea where we're going to end up tonight but we can't stay at the baths overnight. So um, yeah, really looking forward to today. So here we are in Peter Island, um, it was a pretty stressful anchoring experience, um, there was basically nowhere to anchor, um, it shells off really quickly so that bay is really really deep, so we had I think three attempts at anchoring before just abandoning the whole concept and um, just picking up a mooring buoy, something that we don't really want to be doing on a regular basis because they cost, well I'm yet to be charged for this one but I think it's around $30 a night. 
yeah, it's hard when you try for like probably about two hours to find somewhere to anchor and it's just not working for you. You just, it's too full or, you know, the, the, the um, anchor's not holding or you're not in the right spot or whatever. It's uh, stressful, you know? And it's hard to put the anchor down and make the decision to move because you don't want to move. You just want to leave it and you just want to sit down and, and know that you're kind of settled for the night. So accepting that you've made the wrong decision is hard or can be hard when you're not in the right frame of mind. Um, but, you know, in the end, we've made the right decision by coming onto a mooring buoy because, um, yeah, the anchoring thing was just not going well. Uh, the water looks beautiful. I think I might go for a swim. And um, yeah, we're happy. Hi, thank you so much for watching another one of our episodes. If you would like to subscribe, then click this button. If you'd like to join our Facebook page, then this is a button for you. Uh, Instagram and Twitter links are just down below, as well as our website. So we'll see you next week.